day in Taiwan, one Taiwanese girl took us to Taipei. I think yeah, there yeah. was a big food court. Okay, go get some food. <laughs> 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 I cannot speak Chinese and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I didn't know what to do. I think I ended up eating nothing. The foreigners discovered, okay, I'll eat this one and I'll eat that one. <laughs> and they took the whole, like, whole plate full of beef and the other one was eating pepper only. <laughs> And the other was like finishing 20 oh pieces of shrimp. <laughs> so I have big problem when I eat with a lot of people and we have this round table and we have to pick that up. I often end up with the gong kuai oh in my plate. <laughs> oh, I want more pepper. So I put like four slices and I put less chicken. And then, you know, like the eye eater, like she starts no, just no, just more, just more. So she's staring at me and she's like changing my diet, you know? <laughs> Hello everyone, Amadeus here. And today I have a new guest to interview. She comes from one of the most beautiful places in the world and probably one of the most romantic countries at all. However, she found her romance here in Taiwan. So maybe I have some facts wrong. Anyways, let's say hello to Alize. Bonjour, Amédée. Bonjour. Yeah, that's what people say when they meet me and say, oh, you're from France. Oh, France, France is so romantic. And uh, French men are so romantic. Well, I married a Taiwanese man. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> I wouldn't say French men are romantic. I wouldn't say any man is romantic. Sorry, <laughs> gonna... No, no, I would say like uh, French men maybe you can talk. At oh. first, and yeah, they're good talkers. And Taiwanese men, I think my husband, what I find my husband mm. is, is very responsible. And I'm a dreamer, I think I needed someone responsible, so oh, I yeah. found him like very fit for me. Yeah, yeah it's a good so match. It's not yeah. necessarily about romanticism, right? So, yeah. yeah, I actually think this actually Taiwanese people are very like you know pragmatic sometimes but they're really down to earth so you know like they they wouldn't go traveling without like having enough money for traveling mm -hmm. or they really plan ahead things planning which, is my husband's yeah how you say that? <laughs> he does that also he's the one who plans everything uh, if i plan things it won't work. <laughs> I remember at first I was surprised about the sharing thing at the table. Like you got so many dishes, yeah, yeah. you got the round table. It's interesting, but it's also like a little bit overwhelming because first you mm. don't know how to use the chopsticks oh. that well. <laughs> so you're always afraid you're gonna not get it or let it on the table, you know, yeah, drop yeah. it there. And so it happens. And this, it's like in the middle of the table, so like everybody's Everybody. watching you, know? <laughs> right. So you feel so it took a lot right. of <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, that's one thing. But now I'm really used to it. However, I still have a big problem when I eat with a lot of people and we have this round table and we have to pick that up. I often end up with the gong kuai oh, in my plate because really? I will forget to put it back. And I was just uh, <laughs> eating with it and then people are looking for the gong kuai. And like, who took them? <laughs> Some time ago I watched like video online and it was like a way out or some company party in a hotel. So there was like lots of round tables. But you know, somebody decided to put foreigners by one table. Oh. So after like a few minutes, like some Taiwanese get a camera and then I can record them. And what do the guys do? Like every five minutes or ten minutes, a new dish arrives. And I like uh, the, the foreigners discuss, okay, I'll eat this one and I'll eat that one. <laughs> and they took the whole like whole plate full of beef and the other one was eating pepper only. <laughs> And the other was like finishing 20 oh pieces of shrimp. Quite a picture. If you live in Taiwan too long, it's just like you cannot, like, no, no, you guys cannot do that. Like, how can you do oh, So many things around food, yeah. right? When I first arrived, I would live in a university. Uh, that time the internet was not that great right yeah, was, so you don't know anything yeah. actually i did the study a little bit and you arrive in the streets the the streets where the students all go to buy their food it was so busy though right like it's it was, busy and then you don't really know what to eat and well i, I think at the beginning we, i was pretty much on my own with my with other international students and we didn't really know what to eat or even if a taiwanese wants to mm. tell you hey try that try that I don't even know how to buy things. I remember standing in front of a Lue place forever wondering No instruction. What can I do? What should I do? It looks okay, but what can I do? There was noodles and what should I do? What? And I was there staring for a while. Well now I really know how to use Lue and I love Lue. Yeah. But I, at first it was really like difficult. You know, to first do. time I like I was like in, in Taiwan and I like you know after work I'm like, oh this just looks like a fried chicken place, looks pretty cool, <laughs> they have some vegetables and like I, I stand from the back and like I observe also they take this little ball and they put some pieces on it, you know? <laughs> 
So like, okay, so I'll take, do the same, you know? But like, oh, I want more pepper. So I put like four slices and I put less chicken. And then, you know, like the eye there, like she starts, no, just no, just more, just more. So she's staring at me and she's like changing my diet, you know? <laughs> and I'm thinking, what is going on? Or she thinks I'm too short or too something, you know? Like you need to eat more of this. And then later I find out it's like a portion. So you put one piece of chicken, it means one portion, portion. of chicken. And they have already like, wait. They do wait for took, you. It took me some time to realize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's but true. I thought it's so rude. Like, what does she think? Like, <laughs> why she decides like, I want more mushroom than, than I decided to have. One last thing, the food mm -hmm. court. The yeah. food court, the second day in Taiwan, one Taiwanese girl took us to Taipei mm -hmm. to visit Taipei on her own. And she took us to Taipei main station and under the Mitsukoshi something, yeah, yeah. there was a big food court. First time there. And she let us there like, okay, go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot speak Chinese. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? So it was really, really overwhelming experience. I felt like a baby. Seriously, yeah. I felt like, like powerless, I didn't know what to do. I think I ended up eating nothing because I really? didn't, at first I was really like, oh my goodness, like I didn't know what to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about like cultural differences. What is like the most like maybe shocking or maybe like the biggest differences between France and Taiwan? I mean, you know, like even I'm from Poland, we kind of find French people like super like classy mm. and very like, you know, taking care of the rules. Like, you, you know, like you have savoir vivre mm. and it's, we actually need to learn French words to, you know, express those, those things. <laughs> savoir vivre. Yeah, it's very important, it's very important. So like, if you want to be classy, you have to learn a little French and, and then the manners. What I found interesting is that oh, I went to a few weddings before I came to Taiwan mm. with my family in France. Um, every time we go to a wedding, you need to get ready, like buy a new dress. Even you're not from the close family, yeah, yeah. the person who's getting you're married. You're getting married, just, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you have nothing to do, just a friend of a friend of a friend. Yeah. But you're going there and you need to prepare, like be, be chic. Maybe you go to the hairdresser. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do the nails. and Do everything. And, <laughs> and everybody is so well dressed and so like, yes. Yeah, so how do you call that? Yeah, like more than elegant. I would say like, yeah, you stiff maybe somehow like very. Yeah, yeah. You have to be perfect or something. And in Taiwan, it's totally not like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so interesting. The first time I went to a wedding in Taiwan, I was a little bit surprised to see people going there uh, in jeans or um, or just wear your t-shirt or yeah. yeah, yeah, like so very like just like relaxed like a, yeah, and so on. Like some people like wear like sport clothes to the weddings. A sports clothes. I mean guys. <laughs> Usually, okay. but sometimes even close family. Because after the wedding, because the wedding is just two hours or three, yeah, yeah, yeah. three hours, so, right? So yeah. after the wedding, they're going to the yeah. to the gym, maybe. So yeah, they're ready to go. No, for us, it's, it lasts like a, a full day, a full night. Yeah. So people are just dressed for the occasion. I guess here it's more, it's more relaxed and more. Uh, yeah, you, you you go there dressed like every day almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the first time I went to a wedding here, I, I was dressed and. After that, I was not too much dressed anymore. Every time I go, I was just like, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah well, you're dressed fine. so well. <laughs> Are you just... getting married or something? <laughs> yeah, but I think Taiwanese are just more it's relaxed okay. about this. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, right? And like I say, it just lasts two hours or something. Yeah, yeah. That was one thing that surprised me as well. Oh, we're going to a wedding, yeah? We're gonna dance and everything. <laughs> oh, you're gonna dance? Oh, we dance Where? in France. We have to dance all night. Oh, yeah. But no, you're gonna, no. Yeah, you play a, ga a few games, which is actually fun. Yeah. And then you finish eating quick, quick, because you eat a fast and a lot. Yeah. A lot but fast and then it's over and, and you take a picture with the beautiful bride and you don't even have time to dance with her. Yeah, I mean, you know, the bride doesn't have time to even, you know, She doesn't do have time to do anything. She doesn't have time to eat. No, she right. She changed dress three times. <laughs> right, no, I changed twice. Yeah. I, I, I you you did it. No, I, I couldn't change three times. I just, <laughs> twice. Even twice my wife didn't do it. She said it's too complicated. Yeah, she's even, yeah, I'm, I'm more Taiwanese than yeah, your yeah, wife. I think so. <laughs> how, how long have you been to Taiwan? I'm, I've been here for about 16 years now. 16 years, mm. so it's already like a high school. <laughs> <laughs> that university? Oh, university? Oh, that's a bit of a very like, smart student then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, how old are you? You're probably no, no, younger no, than me. No. So <laughs> No, no, I mean, like, it's like you say, like, oh, like, uh, we like, like, together for eight years. Oh, so our relationship is already like a third, second grader. So this is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, wanted, I was a university student. Yeah. I was normal. I was 20 when I arrived. So, you, you're too, yeah. Yo, you know my, oh my age God, now. Oh, oh my God. God. No, no, no. I'm fine with I'm that. sorry, Taiwanese are good at math. They just right. already calculate everything. <laughs> it's fine. I already gave, up, gave my, yeah. my, my age. Have you ever encountered that somebody give you wrong change in Taiwan in 16 years? <laughs> <laughs> no, I give the wrong money. <laughs> they don't give me wrong change. 
I think France has very like a good quality of life. Like people really enjoy their life. Like you know, with good food, with good drinks, like wine, world famous. And I think there's a balance between mm. work and life that is very important for French people. And they want, they fight for it, they yeah, fought yeah. for it, and they're still fighting for it. So. Um, yeah, when I arrive in Taiwan, uh, you see the difference. Work is a lot, it's very important in your life. Yeah, and yeah. You, people work overtime, stay overtime in the office. Yeah. I'm not sure they're working. Sorry. <laughs> that, uh, they're just, busy. Yeah, yeah they're busy, office. busy working, working, working. And sometimes you think that you're making some money for what? If you don't have time to enjoy it. So, French people is, yeah, it's not like this. It's most, yeah. Okay, we work, but when we're off, we're off. Do you okay. think there's any meal, like soup, like popular, you found in Taiwan first time that people in France would love to try, but they never really have an idea that it exists? We enjoy Nyoromian, like your beef noodle, and my family likes the beef noodle. Mm -hmm. Well, I must say, my mom, when she comes, it's all about Jin Tai Fong. I'm sorry, but oh. Jin Tai Fong, you know that, that restaurant, yeah, it's pretty famous among foreigners. And it's true, my mom, when she comes here, she wants to eat Jin Tai Fong. Jin Tai Fong, sorry. And yeah. my dad, too, actually. And uh, they really like the, the chow fan there. Uh, it yeah. looks more like the chow fan we have in France. Like a little bit more like they call it the Cantonese, Cantonese rice. Oh. So my mom likes that. And also they like the Xiaolongbao. Xiao yeah, 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 yeah. The Xiaolongbao of Tintai Fong. Those are beautiful and kind of like special. So we enjoy going there when they are here, otherwise we don't go. <laughs> <laughs> but now after 16 years, of, like 16 years here, right? Like yeah. in this heat, in this cold, you know, like eating luei already. So like if somebody first time to Taiwan, what would you recommend them to like as a comfort food, like from France or from Europe? Something it's not scary, it's not like a you know pig butt cake or something. Mm. Yeah, or well, I was just I would just say just go for a chow fan. Yeah. This is the the thing, yeah. You they mostly they will be good. Uh, yeah. Chow fan and uh, well, definitely I, I hope someone introduced me to the Neuromian right away. Because <laughs> Neuromian is really It's a soup really with good. meat with noodles, very simple. Okay, that's strange because we don't we are not used to have noodles in soup, but oh, it's, really? it's really it's really really good so I think you will like it at first like my, my dad when he comes here he will have a bowl of soup and noodles and yeah, yeah. he's not a much a meat eater so we'll uh -huh. not put any meat in it but yeah and you're all tang mian you are. Mm. and uh, yeah I would say that's the easy one and I think people may enjoy the dumplings as yeah. well like uh, simple kauri oh, yeah, I agree we'll, with you. we'll go okay it's with all that. simple and yes. cannot offend anyone not yeah, yeah. And I think it's very comforting food. But maybe our audience could help us, you know? Like, what, what do you think if somebody first time come to Taiwan mm -hmm. and they might end up on a food court alone and what should they go? Like, where, where should they go? What should they eat, you know? Maybe you guys can write a comment so future like visitors, yes. it's gonna be very useful, this kind of tip, I think, because we don't want people to starve in Taiwan. Oh, no, no, very, no. Sad, yeah. <laughs> very sad. Very yeah. sad. Thank you very much. Okay, Thank that was a, that was a lovely conversation. Yeah. And nice to you. yeah, make sure you subscribe to her channel. We're gonna put some links below. You know, she has some <laughs> interesting content there. Living in Taiwan as a as a mom yeah. and a lot having of things three to say, jobs, huh? she has lots of things to say. <laughs> but she's already local. Like she got three dresses for the wedding. My wife <laughs> only got two, so she's more Taiwanese than some Taiwanese. Then <laughs> then it's okay. Okay, thank you very much. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time and goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.